Today we got some new One UI 7.0 features, and there's one update in particular that parents will want to know about. Based on Android 15, One UI 7.0 is packed with new additions, but one of the standout features is the expanded parental controls. Michel Rahman, a well-known leaker, pointed out this feature in a recent report on Android Authority. One UI 7.0 brings a content restrictions option for parents to help better manage their kids' device usage. If you're using a Galaxy S25 running One UI 7.0, this option can be found under settings greater than digital well-being and parental controls. This wasn't available in One UI 6, Android 14, and it's a much needed feature for those who want more control over their kids' device usage. Here's what it includes. Web content restrictions. This new feature allows you to block explicit websites in the Samsung internet browser. It filters out sites with sexually explicit or violent content, giving parents a bit of peace of mind when their children are browsing the web. Samsung does mention that no filter is perfect, but they're still trying to block as much harmful content as possible. App and game age ratings. This allows you to set a maximum age rating for apps and games in the Galaxy Store. This means you can stop your kids from downloading apps that are rated above their age. The five options available are, based on age in Samsung account, all ages 12 plus, 16 plus, 18 plus. The based on age in Samsung account setting automatically adjusts the rating based on the age linked to the Samsung account, which is super convenient for parents. These features will definitely give parents more control and peace of mind when it comes to protecting their kids while still letting them enjoy their Galaxy devices. While One UI 7.0 is still rolling out and hasn't hit all eligible devices yet, these parental control enhancements will be available as soon as the update is live. So what do you think about these new parental controls in One UI 7.0? Will you be using them? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we got some exciting updates about the Galaxy S25, especially when it comes to One UI 7.0 and its revamped side button features. Samsung is really pushing the envelope with customization, and the side button has gotten a serious upgrade. Let's dive in. First up, the side button now goes beyond simply launching your eye assistant. Samsung has integrated Google Gemini directly into the side button, but that's just the beginning. One UI 7.0 gives users tons of ways to personalize the button's functionality. Let's break it down. Long press options. You can long press the side button to trigger an action, and by default, it'll activate Google Gemini. But what's really cool is you can switch it out for another AI assistant like Bixby, or any compatible third-party options, though Alexa support isn't available yet. Double press options. The double press feature has been completely revamped with so many possibilities. Here's what you can assign to a double press. Camera. Open the camera, start recording, take a portrait, or snap a selfie. Samsung Wallet. Instantly access your cards and payments. Torch. Turn on the flashlight right away. Magnifier. Zoom in for better visibility. Voice recorder. Open the app or start recording immediately. Samsung Notes. Open the app, create a new note, record a voice note, or even draw with a brush. Samsung Capture. Trigger AI Select, take a screenshot, or start screen recording. Modes and Routines. Launch any preset mode or routine you've set. Apps. You can even open any installed app with just a double press. More customization. If that wasn't enough, Samsung has included more specific sub-options for some actions. Camera. Choose between photo, video, portrait, or selfie modes. Voice recorder. Open the app or start recording instantly. Samsung Notes. You can even choose between opening paint mode, typing mode, voice note, or writing with pen. Samsung Capture. Select from AI Select, screen recording, or screenshot. Plus, you can assign the side button to launch any mode or routine with a simple double press. Talk about making your phone truly yours. With all of these expanded customization options, the side button on the Galaxy S25 has turned into a powerful tool that enhances your productivity and accessibility. One UI 7.0 makes everything more intuitive, giving you the flexibility to tailor your device to your needs. So whether you're capturing memories, managing tasks, or just accessing your favorite apps, the side button on the Galaxy S25 is now more useful than ever. What do you think about these updates? Are you excited about the customizations for the side button? Let me know in the comments below.